Oh, oh, oh my god! He has it! Oh! Oh my gosh! We just caught a catfish with a drone! There's no way! No! No! We just caught a catfish with a drone! <laughs> we just caught a catfish with a drone! What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. Now, we saw you guys on the last drone video. I said if we get 8,000 likes, we'd come in here and do it for catfish. Well, let me just tell you, we got a whole lot more than 8,000 likes. We also got this random dog who keeps trying to eat my hand. But anyways, guys, I don't know if you can see that out there, but we have a few pieces of dog food, a few pieces of bread just out there coming up the water so that the catfish will be ready to bite and we won't waste a lot of time with the drone. Over here is the drone. We're using the same exact setup as last time. Just some basic bank line tied to some fishing line all the way down to a little bitty hook. And I think we're actually going to take the bobber off of the catfish since the bread that we're going to be using is going to be floating on top of the water now these catfish i'm not gonna lie guys i don't know how good this drone is actually gonna hold up to a big catfish i'm not gonna lie guys there's somewhere between a 10 and 90 percent chance we lose the drone today i don't exactly know what that percentage is but we're about to find out get away from my drone that's not yours but anyways guys here we go we're sending up the drone but i guess first we actually got bait the drone this is gonna be the hard part i'm actually going to fly it up before i start baiting it because that dog will eat it this has potential to go really good or really bad. And I think it's either going to be one of the two. I don't think there's anything in between at this point. Here we go. That could be a problem. Uh, we never charged the battery from last time. Seriously? Yeah, we forgot the charge. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. We gotta go charge this battery. Okay, guys, it is actually the next day. As you can see, we're chumming up the water again. That's just how these catfish work. That's how they've always been used to. I threw a few pieces of bread in. Right there was the first catfish. Now I'm gonna come back here to the drone. Fly a little piece down there, set it in the water, and the catfish should just come up me. Pilot Kendall Gray reporting for duty. Ready to catch a tank. Let's go. Here we go. Let's fly this baby up. Now we got some battery. Now we got some battery. Now we just set the piece of bread right down right there and wait until something comes up and eats that piece of bread. I honestly don't think it'll take very long at all. Oh, 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 oh my God, he has it. Oh, oh my gosh, we just caught a catfish with a drone. There's no way, no, no. We just caught a catfish with a drone. <laughs> we just caught a catfish with a drone. There's no way! Come on over! Oh! No. Oh! <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god! Oh my goodness! What is going No! 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 What is going Look at him! We just caught a catfish! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Did we just do that? Oh my god! We just caught a catfish with a drone! Oh, dude! He's a tank! Oh my goodness! Dude! He's a tank! Dude! We... No! Okay, oh there. Oh, okay, okay. I thought we lost it. Okay. I'm bringing him in. This ain't gonna be easy. Here we go. Where you go? Okay. Oh dang, oh no, oh no. Okay, the drone is gone. <laughs> now I got a hand line him. Oh, come on little catfish. Now I remember. Oh my gosh, there's no way, no way. All he's gotta do is open up his mouth. Yes, we got him. There's no way, just no. Ah, ah. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the ah! He <laughs> keeps biting me. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dude, ah! <laughs> Quit! Quit doing that! Ah! <laughs> it hurts. With a drone, dude. We came out here and we didn't even know if we could catch a bluegill with the drone last week. First cast. First, yeah, first cast. But oh my gosh, let's walk this cow on back to the pond right here. And we'll just turn him right back loose. This isn't a small catfish either. Like, I know that I can come out here and catch catfish pretty often, but this is definitely one of the bigger ones. Look at his stomach, how fat he is. I'm just going to come on down here. I'm just going to toss him in. And there he goes. He's already swam off right back down to the bottom where we got him. Ah, but look at my finger, man. He destroyed it. I know you're not supposed to hold catfish that way, but I'll be honest, at the moment, that was just my best option. But man... 
That is crazy. Well, I guess we'll try to do it again. I don't know. Let's try it. And so right now, guys, we actually have Abram as the pilot right now. There's the drone. Well, where's the drone? There's the drone. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but Abram is not got, doesn't have a full piece of bread on there simply because we've washed around here. We chummed a little bit more. The catfish are gone, guys. The catfish are like, they, they're, little, they're literally gone. But just in case you don't know this, whenever you hook a fish and you're fighting it in the water, that fish actually releases like hormones or chemicals into the water. And that is to let other fish know that danger is happening. Whatever's happening is not good. Just go into safety mode. So what happened out here was whenever we was fighting that fish, bringing that catfish in, it was releasing a bunch of hormones saying to the other catfish, go to the bottom and don't move because he knows something's not right. And I mean, it's actually a good thing because let's say that one of those fish were actually getting killed like it was getting eaten by a gar it would let off the hormones to let all the other fish to get out of the area before the gar eats them too okay guys it's actually saturday and i want to let you know about a really big merch drop and sale coming this monday up until next sunday so it's going to be a week long it's not started yet i've not even told you guys what i'm releasing but i just want you guys to know stay tuned for monday because it is going to be a massive merch drop with a massive sale going on. That's all I wanted to tell you guys, because you know the real great gangsters, y'all gotta be y'all gotta be ready, cause yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be huge. Alrighty, my dudes, let me tell you this. We're about to take a slight change from you know fishing with the drone. We're going I'm going to finish off the video showing you a little bit more about this gun right here. Now it's nothing scary or anything, actually pretty simple. It is a high point nine millimeter carbon. Shoots nine millimeter rounds. Let me pull one out. Near my back pocket. It's this right here, just a nine millimeter bullet. You can see comparison to like my fingers right there. It's not a giant bullet. It's bigger than a 22, but it's honestly one of the smaller calibers out there. It's nothing like a 270 or anything, just a pistol round. Another thing about that round is it's just a pistol round. Pistol round. It's not exactly made to go far and accurately, but that's what I'm going to try to do. I've got targets set out there about uh, 80 yards, which isn't too bad for a carbine, but it is a little bit too far for a 9mm. But honestly, I'm about to find out. I have the KG Optic right here, just a simple red dot. I'm going to go ahead and put my ear protection on and my eye protection. And recently, I put an angled foregrip on it, just because I don't know. Why not? I'm just going to sling 10 rounds down range. And then after that, I'm actually going to try to accurately throw 9, 10 rounds down range. Here we go, though. Okay, there goes 10 rounds. Honestly, guys, I was uh, shooting at some targets and I missed every single one of them every single time. Which means I'm not going to shoot from here next time. I'm going to move up because, you know, I mean, I set them up for a reason. I want to knock them down. Now, I know that's not exactly the best angle in the world, but right now I got a run came out. It's going to give you the scope cam view. It's going to show you what my sights are seeing. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's try a little bit. Here we go. All right, let's move up some. <laughs> Wow. And okay, guys, now it's time for the first week. This one is actually coming at John 13, 14. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Now, this is actually a quote from Jesus. Like, God has literally done so much for us, including, you know, giving us a life to live here on earth, that we should go out on our neighbors and just show them the same love that God lo shows us. And that's what God wants us to do with everybody. He wants us to be an example of Him. We have to be the light shining in the dark. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked that verse. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe, just because, I don't know, why not, I guess. And also, go ahead and hit the like button, also, because why not? I mean, if you liked the video, this was an epic video, guys. We soon caught a catfish on a drone. And stay tuned for Monday because we are about to have an epic merch drop and a big sale coming very soon. Get ready, guys. It's going to be huge. Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> Come on this video, make sure you like, subscribe, get your merch at Kendall Gray, one.com slash shop, hashtag Jesus, hashtag our gang.